one of the things that I wanted to focus on was that hundred million dollar price tag. That's a lot. So I decided to look deeper into how much being is being spent on the homeless population versus the animal population. And TLDR, it's not good for humans. So let's take a look. You know, I thought I was tripping when I found this story. I saw this story. I was like, what in the world are they doing in this county? It didn't seem like it was. It didn't seem like it was the, you know, it seemed like a logical thing. And, and, and when I actually saw it, I said, what in the world are you doing for the people? Let me share this with you. Those of you who are in Orange County in Central Florida, I don't know if you guys saw this. The price tag for Orange County's new animal shelter is now $95 million, and no one knows how to pay for it. The blurb says the facility will be the largest in Florida at 122,000 square feet, right? Let's get into it. it. says a new animal shelter in Orange County is now projected to cost close to $100 million, nearly triple a previous estimate and Orange County officials don't know how to pay for it. The dilemma came to the fore as Orange County Animal Services presented an update to the planning of the new shelter at a board of Orange County commissioners meeting this week. The shelter has been the topic of discussion since 2017, but the original cost estimate was $34 million. The Orange County Animal Services has $41 million on hand for the project, leaving a shortfall of $54 million. First of all, hang on. A what? A hundred million dollars for an animal shelter? Wait, are we housing horses and orcas? What What are we doing here, Orange County? Mayor Demings, what's going on that we need a hundred million dollars for an animal shelter? Now, don't get me wrong. You know, I, I love the animals, right? JB loves the animals. But $100 million for Orange County? How much space do you need? Let's continue. Because it, 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 let's just continue. It says the commission's meeting workshop, some commissioners expressed concerns about the increase in the cost and whether the county will be able to afford it. The OCAS is currently considering options for financing the project, which may include postponing other projects that are on the county's five-year capital improvement plan. The CIP capital improvement plan outlines a number of projects that the county hopes to implement and how to budget for them. Some of these include transportation, wastewater, and parks and recreation projects. Transportation, wastewater, and parks and rec. I would say that the transportation and wastewater take a little bit more precedent. That's just me, right? But I don't know. It just, priorities, where are they? says OCAS officials said that they have also considered looking into grant funding, but have not identified specific opportunity yet. Planning for the new shelter is currently in the design phase and current cost estimate is based on rendered images made by Bacon Group Architecture of the potential building. They missed out of space here. They're supposed to put a space there. Anyway, because of the updated design is only an estimated 30% developed, there's a possibility that costs could increase further in the future. Quote, you're asking me to make up my mind with a project that's not escalated to 100%, and I don't know what the other needs are. 
How am I supposed to do that? End quote, Commissioner Christine Moore said. What worries me, she says, is we have gotten we haven't gotten to construction costs yet. We're in design and you're going to have to bid out for construction. It's going to go up again. That's from Myra Irubi. I think we're just kind of being imprudent for the residents of Orange County. Well, <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. So let's continue. It says primary concern for the current shelter addressed in 2017 Board of County Commissioners meeting said that it kicked off the plan rebuild is the lack of air conditioning and space in its dog facilities. In the current dog building, animals are at high risk of spreading disease, heat, exhaustion, and elevated stress and anxiety. So this is one thing I need to clarify. I do not disagree that Orange County probably needs a new animal shelter or to re-renovate the animal shelter that we currently have. I don't disagree with that. My disagreement is with the price tag. But also, I also have some thoughts, and I'll get into this a little bit later, but if you take care of the humans, the animals will follow. Unfortunately, we're skipping the humans, and then the animals still suffer. And my animals, I'm not talking about just the wild animals in Florida or when in, you know, local to Orange County. I'm talking about the dogs and cats. I'm talking about the domesticated animals that a lot of us have in our homes or ones that we may have to send to the shelter because of certain circumstances. Goodness. It says Orange County Animal Services has the highest number of dog intakes of any shelter in Florida. In 2023, Orange County has had over 6,500 dog intakes, according to shelter animal counts. The new shelter will be the biggest animal shelter in Florida at 122,000 square feet, with the capacity to house 265 dogs and 194 cats. The current building, which is built in 87, is about 31,000 square feet. So the location of the new shelter will be same as the current shelter which is down the street from me on Conway Road. So the shelter is literally like five minutes away. The OCAS is considered an open admission shelter, which means it does not turn away any animals that are brought to in. As a result, the shelter is often over capacity. So... And of course, they do a lot of adoptions. They'll even do things that are, you know are like free adoptions, which I do encourage. Like if you're trying to adopt an animal, if you're trying to get a, a, a dog or a cat, especially, try to go through the shelter first because they are the ones that are in need. Of course, some people try to get you know purebreds and things like that, but. I say, try, you know, if you can try to get a shelter dog or cat and, you know, go for a shelter dog, but some people, that's not their preference. That is a lot. But one of the things that I wanted to focus on was that $100 million price tag, that's a lot. So I decided to look deeper into how much being, is being spent on the homeless population versus the animal population. And TLDR, it's not good for humans. So let's take a look. So let me share this as well out of the Orlando Sentinel. It talks about the the budget, and this was brought out last year. This Orange County approved six point seven billion dollar budget for fiscal year starting in October first. Plan boost funding for public safety and transportation. It says as Central Florida's population grows, so does the operating cost for Orange County government, which budgeted six point seven billion for fiscal year twenty twenty three to twenty twenty four, about eight point four percent more than last year. 
says the Orange County's property tax rate remains the same for a 16th consecutive year, though revenues will be up 12.5% higher because of new construction on the tax rolls and climbing property values. Uh, says we have the lowest tax rate of county populations over 1 million people. Uh, spending plan has $800 million committed to public safety and $100 million to transportation. The budget also includes 155 new positions across the county government. Uh, and it says 56 new jobs for Orange County Fire and Rescue and 34 more sworn deputies for the Sheriff's Office. Oh, gee, yay, more cops. So there's a lot going on here. But it says most homeowners will pay more because property values increased. And then, of course, it says the budget has included $136 million allocated for housing, including money rolled over from last year. That includes boosted locality controlled affordable housing fund for $14.4 million. And then this is, says about $34 million for mental behavior and health services for adults and children, part of a effort to plug the wide gap, on, uh, wide gap identified by a study last year. So it talks about a mental health system. So over $6 billion, And I took a look at the budget that was done. So we're going to take a look at the budget because a lot of people um, a lot of uh, the, the, the numbers will tell you everything you need to know. So let me enlarge this uh, and then move this over actually i can do that okay so i'm gonna scroll up just a little bit so you guys can see so the first column is fiscal year 2021 to 2022 the fiscal year 2022 to 2023 that's the budget and then fiscal year 2023 2024 the proposed budget now remember $100 million estimated just for the animal shelter, right? All right, so let's take a look at the funds for the homeless. Homeless, this is 2023-2024 proposed budget. $28,956,814. You tell me something, tell me what's wrong with that. $100 million for the animals, $28 million for the homeless. Now, people will say, well, this is just construction for the new animal shelter. And, and I get it, right? But to take care of animals is significantly less than it is to take care of humans. And then on top of it, we're spending a chunk, quite a bit less. In fact, this animal shelter will cost almost four times as much as we take care of our homeless in this county. Something not right. Let's, let's continue on because I want to share more. So <clears throat> let me see here. So expenditures by division program. So the proposed is $30,356,814. So this is because homeless issues, they couple it with mental health. So the fact is, is that they couple mental health with homeless issues. 
which I can see the logic in that. But mental health is not just people who are homeless. Some people who have mental health issues or just need to focus on their mental health, some of us are not unhoused. So that money that's exclusively for homeless is even lower. Let's continue. So just the coalition for the homeless is getting $608,304, right? Uh, Goodwill Industries, Goodwill, it's getting 154000 Harbor House, getting $252,013. United Way is getting two hundred over 212000 Livestream Behavioral Center, Homeless Initiatives, getting $473,000. Salvation Army, getting $75,000. Isn't the Salvation Army allegedly also charging homeless people? a fee to stay in their shelter? So when people are riding on the road, especially on 50 and on on Colonial Drive, and you see homeless people, you know, when you see homeless people panhandling and asking for money, remember that some of them are panhandling not because they're actually people who are rich or who have money, but they just want you know to panhandle for people for money and then they drive in their cars and go home. No, some of these are legitimately homeless people and they're panhandling because they don't have a place to sleep for the night. Because they literally have to pay, allegedly, Salvation Army in order to stay the night. So next time you go shopping for some consignment clothes or shoes or whatever at Salvation Army, remember that they're actually charging the unhoused just to stay there. On top of the obligation of attending religious services and things like that, These companies like Goodwill and Salvation Army, it's a business. I don't care what nobody says. It is a business. That is what we call the nonprofit industrial complex. It's not actually about care for the people. And this is where a lot of our money's going. The money that's supposed to actually go to help the people who are unhoused, who are on the streets, are the people where it's going to these nonprofits. And then the rest of the money is going into house dogs and cats, which I don't say anything wrong with housing dogs and cats, but the you see the priorities are out of whack here. And then this talks about the the mental health and homeless issues division. Ooh, wait, hang on. Okay. So this gives the breakdown for the budget for the mental health and homeless issues, right? This is all for Orange County. So,
when you look at this the price tag for the mental health and homeless issues is 28.9 million with a comparison of 95 million dollars for animal shelter tell me where the priorities lie but i want to share something else with you that's not the most outrageous part i'm going to share my screen one more time or we're going to look at something else that I think a lot of people aren't looking at either. And this is the part that gets me the most livid. So, I want to direct your attention up for the proposed budget. I want you guys to look at this. Proposed budget of 2023, 2024, Look at what this is. What is costing us $344,659,805? That is the Orange County Sheriff's Office. That's a very large chunk of our budget going just towards the police. Isn't these the people that knock on your door when you're being evicted? Remember, evictions are actually up in our country. Who are the people that force you out of your home? Is it not the Orange County Sheriff's Office? We give more money to them to protect property than we do to shelters to help human beings. We give more money to the building of an animal shelter and to the cops than we do to the unhoused. Any wonder why our nation is so out of whack? So, out of $6.7 billion, which is the official budget for the fiscal year 2023-2024, that's a huge amount of money that we're spending. And it's not necessarily going towards the most disenfranchised. In, and, and a lot of times they'll say, well, we're giving something. And it's like, you can give me crumbs, but just because you give me crumbs doesn't mean that it's actually good enough. The proposed budget for homeless services is $30.3 million, which is about $4 million less than the year prior. Now, instead of putting all this money into police and animal shelters, can we shift our priorities a little? Yes. Now, the animal shelter is important. I'm not saying that it's not, which is one of the reasons why so many animals take what like the question is why do so many animals get taken to our shelter in the first place because a lot of times people don't ask that question so i'm going to share my screen here because i think this is also an important part of the piece of the conversation so this is from foundanimals.org. It says, why do animals end up in animal shelters? Now, many of you who probably have pets have, you know, know this reason, but some people may not. People like myself, I grew up without pets, so I don't know what it's like. So these are the top 10 reasons people put their animals up in shelters. Moving, right? Landlord does not allow pets. That's also true. Too many animals in the household. Cost of pet maintenance. Owner having personal problems, illness, or death. Inadequate facilities. No home available for litter mates. Basically, litter mates being uh, your pet has uh, pet has babies, and there's no room for the babies. So they have to get rid of either 
you know, most or all of the litter that's birthed by basically having no time for pets, pet illnesses, and biting. That's basically it. And then for cats, reasons were the same in addition to cat allergies, how soiling and incompatibility with other pets. But I want you guys to take a look at something. Moving, that's typically a fiscal, financial, economic issue, right? Landlord does not allow pet. That's also a financial issue, if you think about it, because you have to move someplace and the landlord doesn't allow the pet. Or if the landlord does allow pets, then you have to pay a deposit, which is pretty expensive, just for the pet by themselves. Cost of pet maintenance. That's another economic issue that people also face, right? Inadequate facilities. If you don't have the adequate facilities for your pets, then that can also be an economic issue. Having no time for pet. Are you working all the time? You don't have enough time to spend for your pet. Or you work so many hours, you can't take your pet to walk them, you know, or to change out their litter box. So a lot of these are economic issues when it comes to having pets, right? Looks like the financial ability to take care of pet is the main driver here. So here's my point. As the homeless rate rises, don't you think that the rate of pets needing shelter will rise at a commensurate rate? When times get tough and people have pets, what are the first thing they do with their pets? They're either going to send their pet to a family or friend to live with, or they're going to take their pet to where? A shelter. Most people are getting to a point where they can't even afford a pet these days. So to combat this, I say let's address the underlying issue, which is human homelessness. Now, on RBN on Sunday, I talked about how the Supreme Court is going to hear uh, and rule on a case that could effectively criminalize homelessness on a national scale. If you care about animals, then you need to be concerned about how humans will fare in this because more pets will end up in shelters or have to be put down because more of us will be unable to afford them as housing prices continue to skyrocket. The answer is a housing first model instead of what we have here. So a message to Mayor Demings, let's focus on the people first so that we can help the animals. Thank you so very much for watching my channel and I deeply appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. If you wish to support the channel further so I can keep bringing you content that is educational and informative you can become a patron on patreon.com forward slash jbfond. You can find that link in the pinned comment or in the description below. No matter what you give, you'll be supporting independent media and education that helps make the world better. Thank you so much. And you can watch more of my content here. Mwah. More head kisses and have a beautiful day.